Ivan Kaur. Let's take a look. In today's episode, we remember Mani Bhai Bhim Bhai Desai, who was born on the 27th of April 1920 in Surat, Gujarat. An associate of Mahatma Gandhi, Mani Bhai Desai was imprisoned during the Quit India Movement in 1942. In 1946, Mahatma Gandhi sent Mani Bhai Desai to the Nature Cure Ashram at Uruli Kanchan, situated near Pune. He dedicated himself to rural development based on modern and scientific lines. Desai also promoted many initiatives for the benefit of rural people including water distribution systems in drought prone areas, rural school at Uruli Kancham with emphasis on vocational training and cooperative joint farming society. Desai was awarded the Padma Shri by the government of India. Mani Bhai died on the 14th of November 1993 in Pune. The institutes he established continue to serve the nation and the people. We salute the great Gandhian nationalist. We also remember Gandhian freedom fighter Anjana Devi Chaudhary who passed away on the 27th of April 1981. She along with her freedom fighter husband Ram Narayan Chaudhary fought against the feudal policies of the princely states of Rajputana through Rajasthan Seva Sangh founded in 1920. Anjana Devi worked towards advancing the causes of poor farmers and landless laborers. Anjana Devi awakened political consciousness among the women of Mewar and Bundi from 1921 to 1924. She was arrested and exiled from Bundi state. Later, she led a procession of 500 women in Bijolia and got the arrested farmers released. Anjana Devi was imprisoned twice for her participation in national movements from 1932 to 1935. She dedicated herself to the service of Bheels in Bungarpur state in the 1930s and participated in Mahatma Gandhi's programs by staying in Sevagram Ashram from 1939 to 1942 for 5 years. She was busy running the women's information department of the Bharat Sevak Samaj. Throughout her life, she continued to work with a dedicated spirit for public service and nation building. We salute the great daughter of India. We also remember social reformer T K Madhavan who died on the 27th of April 1930. He was the original architect behind the Vaikom Satyagraha. The Vaikom Satyagraha is a testament to the importance of the struggle against the aggressive social practices as part of the war against the British colonizers. Madhavan was born on September the 2nd, 1884 at Kartikapalli, Kerala. He was very active in the social reform movement and in 1915 started the weekly newspaper Deshabhimani. In 1918 he presented a resolution seeking permission of temple entry and right to worship to all people irrespective of caste and community at Sri Moolam Praja Sabha the legislative council of Travancore The resolution was presented in the Kakinada session of the Indian National Congress in 1923. In 1924, Vaikom Satyagraha was started under the leadership of Madhavan K K Lappan and K P Keshav Menon to get the right of oppressed classes to walk along the road in front of Vaikom Mahadev Temple. Madhavan and Keshav Menon were arrested and imprisoned. Finally, the Maharaja of Travancore agreed to open the road to all classes. of people however he had to continue his struggle for the temple entry he met gandhi ji at tirunelveli and persuaded him to visit vaikom madhavan fought for the rights of people till the very end we salute the great indian temple well that's all we have for you in this